Hello friends. In this lecture, I am going to discuss the third topic of high voltage AC measurement that is potential transformer. This is also called as a voltage transformer that is PT or VT. This potential transformer is similar to the current transformer of current measurement. In potential transformer, the number of turns on primary are more, which is generally the high voltage terminal. And number of turns on secondary are low, which is generally the low voltage terminal. So a magnetic potential transformers is the oldest device that is used for the purpose of AC measurement. They are simple in construction and can be designed for any voltage. And to have that designing for the measurement of any voltage, the cascading of the transformer is done. In this case, the ratio is given by K. K be the transformation ratio, which is generally represented in electrical machines, which is given by V2 upon V1. That is what the voltage, which is on the secondary side of the transformer, divided by V1. This V2 upon V1, basically the secondary voltage, basically the secondary voltage to primary voltage. Basically, secondary voltage to primary voltage. And it is equal to number of turns N2 upon N1. If some books represents the electric field induced on the system as E2 upon E1, then we can have extension to this equation as V2 upon V1 is equal to N2 upon N1 is equal to E2 upon E1. Now, this V1 and V2 be the primary and secondary voltage. E1 and E2 be the primary and secondary induced EMFs. N1 and N2 be the primary and secondary number of turns in the winding. These devices suffer from the ratio and phase angle errors that is caused by the magnetizing and leakage impedances. Many a times we find the magnetizing current that is basically to magnetize the transformer on which the transformer operates. But this causes the error and hence the errors are compensated by adjusting the turns ratio. For the adjustment of turns ratio, the tappings are generally provided on the high voltage side. So these are called as the tappings which are provided on the primary side of the transformer. The potential transformers do not permit fast rising transient or high frequency voltage along with the normal supply frequency. But harmonic voltages are generally measured with sufficient accuracy. With high voltage testing transformers, no separate potential transformers are used. But potential transformer winding is incorporated with the high voltage windings of the testing transformer. So this is all about the potential transformer, which is also called as a magnetic type potential transformer. So here we, what we understood is the high voltage side is this primary side and the metering side is secondary side. So the meter is placed here, which measures the voltage as V2. And this V2 is equal to or V1, V2 is the measured value by the meter. So V1 is equal to, we can write the expression as V1 is equal to N1 upon N2 multiplied by V2, where V2 is the meter measured voltage, N1 and N2 be the known number of turns of the primary and secondary side of the transformer. So that's all with this potential transformer. Hope you understood the concept of this measurement of high AC voltage with the help of potential transformer. Thank you so much.